All right, guys. Another video. These units are turning into some of my favorite units to work on tankless. Uh, we have HTP. That's the brand. Model number is UFT 199W. Uh, we typically don't um, install many tankless boilers. Like in this area, you have Navian, uh, Well McLean. Those are are the premier brands but like you said if a customer do gets another brand installed we can also take a look um, because most problems are universal um, especially if you're tending to like maintenance related issues or anything like that so customer has the HTP um, she said this unit was working fine um, a few years ago and it just now gave her issues pipes were cold she came down and there she found error code 29 we don't stock this brand, so what we had to do is we had to actually Google the model and serial number on the right side there, and then that's when we found that the error code 29 was an APS error. Okay, APS pretty much means the pressure switch is not doing what, it, what it's supposed to do. Okay, there's a few options that the manual does give you as far as to check for to make sure that you know that isn't the culprit. One of the things the manual said was to make sure that the vent piping is pitched properly and make sure, of course, there isn't any obstructions. You want to go outside and make sure there's nothing covering the vent. In this case, they ran three inches out to the concentric kit outside. I checked that out. Everything's clear outside. And we have the obvious slope. Okay. Next thing. They want you to make sure that there isn't any kinked or blocked pressure switch or drain tubing. What that means is this unit has two different pressure switches. There's the top one and the bottom one. The top one clearly operates as a high pressure switch. Um, this is a normally closed switch, okay? And the bottom one here acts as a safety for your drain. Okay, now what that means is if the drain lines on the unit backs up, then that switch it will open up and that will cause the unit to acknowledge that something's going on with the drain. So um, as you want to call it, I just did the um, process of elimination. And what we did here is first looked at the vent pipe. The vent pipe was, was a okay. Looked at the pressure switch tubing on top. Also looked at the drains coming from the um, bottom of the, of the tankless heater. Everything checked out fine. Um, what it basically said, the manual, if everything checks out fine and you still get that air cool 29, that is just a faulty pressure switch. And lastly, if you replace this thing and it still gives you the air cool, you got to shoot back towards the board. So it's always important to check your P's and Q's. Sorry, my phone light is actually dying, but check your P's and Q's. Like I said, you always want to make sure you know why something happened. Like if I just would have replaced that switch without checking anything else I just explained, then it could have been a recall. So I always want to double check to make sure you know why something happened, not just what's going on. So there you guys have it. Error code 29. Problem was a bad pressure switch. I'm gonna rip this out. We'll get to it. Alright, see you guys on the next one.